Hi, this is Mark Dubow, and today I'm going to talk about how to use YouTube in the classroom. First thing we talk about are subscriptions. And uh, before I do that, um, you shouldn't be logged into your Google Apps account. And if you don't know where that is, normally here you'll see you're logged in and you can click on YouTube right here. If you're in a uh, version for uh, schools, you'll have to click on more. And right below that, you'll have access to your YouTube account. So once you're logged in, uh, you will see a few options. The ones that interest us for now are the following. So subscriptions. Subscriptions are channels that I subscribe to. So in other words, these are channels I'm interested in finding out more about. So you see three here, SourceFed, which is uh, you know, a comic uh, channel that talks about uh, recent news. Sometimes it's school appropriate, so you gotta be careful. Sometimes it's not, so you use it in your classroom. I have used it occasionally in the classroom. But I made sure to screen them before, uh, you know, with guitar playing, etc. Um, so whatever you are interested in, you can subscribe. So I want to go to general YouTube channel just to show you in case you never really noticed this. Uh, let's go here. We'll take this video. Ready, so pause. Just so uh, now, quickly, just to mention this, if you are to, if you are in your your tablet or your cell phone might look a little bit different than this, but you can do all these features as well from the tablet or the cell phone. So right here is the subscribe button. So you see how many subscribers this channel has. And so sometimes that gives you an indication, is this a really good channel? Sometimes, obviously, if it's just, uh, you know, somebody does it uh, just a little bit like me, there's not a lot of subscribers, but you're always welcome to subscribe, of course, and every time I post a new video, you'll get access to it. All right, so here's where you subscribe. So once you subscribe, let's subscribe, you know, I, I can always manage my subscriptions later. And uh, so if I click on here, I will see all my subscriptions and I can uh, also click them over here and decide, you know, here it even tells me how many videos they've uploaded since the last time I've looked. And, you know, if I want to find out more, uh, I just need to do that. So you can manage all 48 subscriptions here. There's an option here, uh, you know, activity feed. So uploads only. In other words, if you subscribe to this and this person follows the channel, you also get the news. So maybe you're not interested in that and you only want to get it when he, he or she uploads a new video. So you could customize that here. I never really bother. I don't have time. Um, if, you know, it's, it's up to you. So you have that uh, possibility. So the other thing I want to talk about before we get into uh, just the... Uh, creative tools is the ability to create playlists. So I prefer playlists than I do subscriptions, but it depends how you watch uh, YouTube. Often I'll find a video that's something related to something I'm doing in the classroom and I'm like, wow, this is really great. So I'll create a playlist. So you can see a lot of these playlists that I have in this channel are gonna be private, but sometimes you can choose to make them uh, public. So I'm gonna go over here um, and click on playlist settings. So this one's a private playlist and you know, that's up to you again. I'll show you how to create one. So let's go to YouTube and we're going to pick a, on a channel that I'm not subscribed to. And you'll see down here, they give suggested channels of other things uh, linked or similar to things that you've already watched. Or in other words, suggestions that maybe you'd be interested in and in subscribing to. So let's go to uh, Linda.com. We'll pretend I'm interested in this. Putting it all together and setting a shot. Yeah, I would be actually interested. Um, so here's the add to. Okay. And you have the option to select a playlist you already have or to create a new playlist. Let's create a new playlist. And we'll call it uh, video cameras. And I could want it public. What that means, it shows up on my channel. Anybody who comes to my video, my YouTube channel will see these. And maybe I don't want them to see it because it's just for my own interest. So then I would do it as unlisted or private. Unlisted, the difference is you will have the option to share it with students. So that's really useful. So let's, uh, well, I'm not gonna create this one because I don't, you know, don't really wanna do that. Let's go back to the YouTube channel here and we'll go on playlists uh, over here. We'll click on this playlist and, um, Second here, you have the option to play them all. Playlist settings. So 
just looking for a button normally that allows you to, to email the playlist to your students. I can't see it right now, but you have the option to, uh, to share this playlist with all your students, probably because it's private, and that's probably why, because this is uh, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, video game videos that uh, my, sometimes my kids will use or watch or whatever. Let's pick something that's probably not uh, private, like over here. There it is. So the share button is right here. So I click over here, and I have the option to share this playlist. So if I share this, my students will get all these videos. Okay, to watch. Now, this would not be one I would share. There's way too many. But, uh, you know, when I have used this in classes where students were doing uh, filmmaking uh, videos in the communication technology class. So definitely very useful for them to pick up some tips from other YouTubers who have great ideas. One last thing I want to quickly go over, and I won't talk about it too long because I have talked about it in other videos, is a creator studio. So you click over here and click on creator studio. You'll have the option to create movies. I have another video on this, and it hasn't changed much in, since the last year. Uh, but you have the option to drag videos into your timeline, get audio. Pause this here. Um, you know, add uh, title text, end credits, slice video, add audio. That's a, a Creative Commons license, so you can use these without any fear of, of copyright issues. There's even Creative Commons videos where you can use videos that have been put up by other YouTubers that uh, you know you, you could put into your video to make it more interesting. So hopefully you find that you find something interesting in our video. If you have any questions, please leave a, a comment below. Uh, thank you very much.